Let's see what happens when we're looking at a logistic growth experience where the growth is happening very, very fast. If, we're, if you think about blackberries, we know blackberries grow very quickly. For our purposes, we're gonna say they can grow 250% per year. Our plot of land currently has 35 of these blackberry plants, but our nearby environment only has space for 50 plants to be able to survive without choking each other out. So let's take a look at how the number of plants is gonna change year after year. Again, we know that this is logistic growth because we have a unrestrained growth percentage, but we also have an upper limit maximum that we can experience. So this is a logistic growth um, example. Our starting population is gonna be 35. So that's our P0. We're starting with 35 plants. Um, our growth rate is 250%. And when we change that to its decimal form, we move it two to the left, we actually end up with 2.5. That rate is so big, it's bigger than one in its decimal form. Um, and then we have our maximum carrying capacity of 50, and that's the K variable in our logistic equation. So that's gonna be 50 plants here. Um, Looking back, let's remind ourselves, here's our uh, general logistic equation formula. P of n is equal to P of n minus one plus R times one minus P of n minus one over K times by P of n minus one, one last time. So again, we're using the previous year's population three times in our equation. Right now, the only population that we know is what we're starting with. So we're gonna be able to find year one's population by starting with the 35. So every time we see P of n minus one, we're gonna put 35. My R value is 2.5 times one minus, P of n minus one is 35 over 50, times by P of n minus one is 35 again. All right, so here's my equation. All of my uh, variables have been substituted, so I can come over here and take a peek at Desmos to do my final calculations here. Let's just see if we can do that for the glare. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and type in 35 plus 2.5, open the parentheses times by one minus 35 over 50. So 35 divided by 50 will make the fraction. We're gonna go ahead and close those parentheses and then we're gonna times it by 35 one more time. And when we do that, notice that our growth value, our P1 value comes out to be 61.25 blackberry plants. Now, you may remember that our growth place only had enough room for 50 plants. And here we've got 61. Well, our model will build this in because we're growing so fast, we're gonna end up with too many plants, but nature's gonna do its thing. Some of those are gonna die out because they're not gonna have enough area for, this, uh, for the sun to come in or the roots aren't gonna have enough room to grow. So let's use this number, even though it looks like it's too big, we're gonna go ahead and put it into our formula to figure out what's gonna be happening by the time we get to the end of year two. So this time, Every time that we see that P of N minus one in the formula, we're gonna put 61.25 in instead. So 61.25 plus 2.5 times one minus 61.5, oops, 61.25, excuse me, over 50. And then times by 61.25 again. When we get into Desmos, because our last answer was 61.25, we can just click that ANS button each time and that we'll, we'll have to use that button three times. So we start out with this and then we're gonna add 2.5 times by one minus, I'm gonna do um, that answer 61.25 on the top again. And on the bottom, we're gonna have that 50 maximum of plants that we think our land should support. Oh, we need to make sure that our parentheses come here over to the side. There we go. And then we're going to times that by that last answer one more time. And when we hit equals, we get 26.79. So 
So as we're looking at what happened here, we overshot and then a bunch of stuff started dying off and we dipped down below again. If we wanted to go on and find out what was happening in year three, all we have to do is every time that we have that P of N minus one showing up, we're gonna replace all three of those with the 26.79 instead. So 26.79 plus 2.5 times one minus 26.79 over 50 times 26.79. Using our last answer button here, 2.5 times one minus the last answer over 50. Make sure we get all the way here to the right so we can put our parentheses in and times by that last answer yet one more time. And here we get 57.89 plants. So notice we've overshot our 50 again, but not by as much as it did the first time. So there's kind of this self-correcting process where we can end up too high and then kind of kill things off. And we kind of get this eventual leveling off, getting closer and closer to that 50 um, plants that it can reasonably sustain over time.